tell me if you know what is meant by this raving of Dancelis. What has happened? And what has he lost? Perhaps his fair one is annoyed with his eternal respect. Anyone would be. Tell me what has happened and what to do. Can I have a talk with you this morning? If you are engaged, at least send me my cues for my part. I never succeed in seeing you any more now. Really, it was not worth keeping me in Paris in September. Monsieur, Monsieur, I am in despair. I have lost everything. I dare not confide to paper the secret of my distress. No, I, I must see you. You will pity me. You will help me. I, I have no hope but in a friend like you. Let me know, I, I beg you, at what hour I shall find you in. My dear Sophie, pity me. Mama's just come from everything. Last night, I was in dress when Mama came and I sent my maid away. She asked me for the key of my writing table. I had trembled all over, pretended not to be able to find it. But at last, I had to obey. The first drawer she opened was precisely that which contained the Chevalier Danzini's letters. <laughs> oh, when I saw she began to read them, I only had time to reach an armchair before I felt so ill I lost consciousness. As soon as I came to, my mother told me to go to bed and left the room. She took all of Danzini's letters with her. <laughs> I have done nothing but cry all night. <laughs> I'll try to get a little note to Madame de Mertoy. She's the only person from whom I can receive any consolation. I do not confide in my maid. Perhaps she is the one who told my mother I had letters in my writing desk. I shall say I am ill to avoid going to see Mama. It'll not be much of a lie. My eyes burned for having cried for so long, and I have a weight in my stomach which prevents me from breathing. When I think I shall never see Don City again. Oh, I wish I were dead! Monsieur, after having abused the confidence of a mother and the innocence of a child, you will doubtless not be surprised if you are received no longer in my house. I warn you also that if you make the slightest attempt to continue communicating with my daughter, the walls of a convent will protect her from you eternally. You will find enclosed a packet of your letters. I expect you to send me in exchange all my daughter's letters and that you will assist in leaving no trace of this event.